The playable scientist career from the Get to Work expansion pack is one of my favourites, mainly because you start off in the career getting promotions by making helpful inventions, while in the latter stages you will be using these inventions to traumatise your co-workers. Yes, all for that sweet, sweet promotion. We're going to cover all the basics here as well as a bunch of handy tips and tricks to make the career just that little bit easier to understand. First things first, the science career involves a lot of inventing, meaning all new inventions and serums. Now these will require materials to make, from metals to crystals to elements and even various plants for many of the serums. It's good to try and stock up on a bunch of these collectibles early on. For plants it's a good idea to buy some starter seed packets and open them up just to give you a bit of a base of ingredients to work with for many of the serums. There are also numerous sites to dig from around the workplace building that are great for metals and crystals. You can also ask your co-workers to give you a metal, a crystal or even a DNA sample. Make sure you're friends before you ask for another sim's DNA though because otherwise they might hate you. You can also get more collectibles by analysing crystals or metals on the chemical analyzer which can give you a second crystal or metal respectively and experimenting on the chemical analyzer can also give you various elements. Which leads us to our next point, experimenting on the chemical analyzer is also a great way to achieve breakthroughs. With each breakthrough enabling your sim to create a new invention or serum. Each career level will allow you two more breakthroughs besides reaching the top which allows for three. For the first six levels of the career it'll be one invention breakthrough and one serum breakthrough while from seven to ten it's all about them serums leaving a total of six inventions and 15 serums. Now breakthroughs are needed in order to be promoted. They're essentially the promotion task of this active career. And thankfully they're very easy to get. You can get them while having a shower, reading a book, running on a treadmill. Honestly there's so many ways that you won't have an issue achieving this. I'm almost surprised you can't get them simply from standing still. As you can get them from everyday interactions like showering, this does mean that you can pretty easily turn this career into a passive career if you want to snap up promotions while hardly playing. While you're probably not here for that, and rather for actually playing the career, I still thought it was important to tell you that. Also keep in mind that promotions will be rather slow if you never go in compared to heading in and nailing all those daily tasks. And we all like it when sims are promoted fast. To progress and enhance your work performance and thus get promoted, you want to complete the daily task, which will correlate to your work performance and also your pay. Yeah, you really got to work for those simoleons here. These can be simple things like chatting to co-workers or asking them for materials, an extent to analysing collectibles on the chemical analyzer, or samples on the microscope, which for some reason takes up 50 tiles. Honestly, why is this microscope so big? And of course, these daily tasks involve making new inventions and mixing new serums as well. Serums are kind of like potions. You drink them, they have a weird effect on your sim. You move on, you live your best life. Note that once you create new inventions and place them in the workplace, or in the case of the sim ray, keep them in your inventory, job tasks will come up that require you use them. Often this means tormenting your fellow co-workers and somehow getting promoted for it, but for the most part it's a good way to help boost up that performance bar because a lot of these interactions are relatively easy to do. Now there are three bars. Filling up none is disastrous for your career, filling up just one will give you a small amount of performance loss, two will give you a small performance gain, and three a pretty large performance boost. So always aim to get at least two bars filled, three if you can. There are also a lot of random tasks that can appear as well from viewing artworks to exploring space. It's actually a bit crazy how many there are. Just be prepared to be adaptable and go with the flow of what each day in the science career brings. In your spare hours, if you've filled up the performance bar, it's a good idea to stock up on some relevant collectibles. Now, something that's really important is that as you advance in the career, you'll gain the ability to order your coworkers to perform tasks for you. Whatever collectibles they find or objects they invent are given to your sim. It's a great way to get some little boosts on the side as you go about your day. Just keep in mind that sometimes your co-workers can be a little bit useless. Alas, that is all the main points, but here are some quick fun facts that could just help out that a little bit more. Beware of the big red button on the chemistry lab. Pushing it will electrocute your sim, meaning it can actually kill them. The workplace is also a shared space, meaning if you play the career with one sim, plant some plants, play some inventions, and a different sim walks in and starts their career there, all those original objects will still be there. Keep a lookout as you progress because many of the inventions can be upgraded as you advance in the career to unlock new features. If you're running behind in your performance, then you can click on the little timer in the top left and choose to stay late, which will add an extra two hours to your workday so you can fill up that performance bar. Now, while it's great to grow plants on site and to be able to collect microscope samples, I found that they rarely, if ever, make produce. Hence, an at-home garden can be a more reliable and consistent way to get access to some produce 
or just steal it from your neighbors. See how they grow on site and if the plants are acting weird then aim to grow them on your home lot. After you invent a satellite dish at level 4 in the career, place it on your lot. You'll get work tasks which will correlate to it and they're some of the easiest tasks you can perform. It's like click, neighborhood hive mine, done, click, detect aliens, done, love it. When you create a serum for the first few times, it'll be classified as untested. Getting three of the serums and either ingesting them yourself or testing them on your co-workers will mean future ones you create will have a tested status. And more importantly, will unlock the ability to make tainted versions of that serum. Just be wary because they can have some pretty crazy side effects. Just going to put that out there. It should also be noted that once you make a serum once, you can use the cloning machine, which you can invent from level 5 in the career, to duplicate them. This can cut down on your need to constantly search for more materials. It also means that from one serum, you can essentially create an infinite supply. Finally, random events will occur when your sim starts their work day here and there. From a resource collection day to your work being infiltrated by aliens, it's all a bit crazy. In my opinion, the best one happens when you reach the top of the career and place an upgraded Electroflux wormhole generator on the workplace lot. The upgrade allows you to travel to 6M, the alien homeworld, and it's here that they'll throw an alien party for you. Yep, that's your work day. A whole lot of fun living up the good life of the aliens on 6M. We love it. Alas, that's all about the science career. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. I'll see you later.